Okay, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh of Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River Lagoon System, just east of Orlando, Daytona Beach, Cocoa Beach. And today we're going to do another installation of some Yamaha outboard engine work here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show a video. I'm going to do my water impeller and pump, or my water impeller uh, house, my pump. Um, I'm going to do the maintenance on it, take the impeller out, and when I'm doing it this time, I did another video on that. So if you want to look at how to do that video and how to get this lower unit off, you know, I want to watch that video. And then as I'm pulling the impeller off, underneath the impeller housing, the plate, the uh, chrome plate, um, the wear plate that's there, I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to replace the water pump housing kit, the seal here. And it's really easy to do. This is, you know, 25, 30 buck piece. Uh, I just went ahead and bought the whole kit instead of the seals. This is what keeps the water out of your lower units. So if your unit's milky, it's one of two things. It's either this seal or it's the lower unit seal right here in the prop shaft, which you really can't see. And if it's that one, the best way to find out which seal it is is to take it to a, an authorized uh, marine dealer and have them do a pressure test on it putting 15 psi in there then they put it under a water or spray just almost like what they do with the tire and they can see where the air is coming out of but i've determined mines on the top here uh, it's going to be underneath the impeller so i'm going to go ahead and do the impeller uh, it's been about a year since i did it last and as i'm doing the impeller i'm going to go ahead and do the water pump housing here so let's go ahead and do this um, as far as look, removing the lower unit here and taking it off to get to this piece you're going to want to see the video on how to change out your impeller I made. Thanks. Okay, we got the impeller off and we have gotten the um, the lower housing uh, assembly off here. The old one got it off. Uh, sometimes you might have to get it off is take a couple of screws and drill holes in there and then grab the screws with pliers to pull it off. So now the only thing we're going to do now before we put the new one in here is we're going to get inside here with a wire brush um, i'm going to go ahead and replace this piece too uh, it was corroded pretty bad as you can see make sure you can see it yep you can see the corrosion uh, there's a little shelf right here we're going to pop that out that's this piece right here oh there we go and then we're going to pop out uh, the um, the rubber gasket that goes in there and then what we'll do is we'll put, I'm going to do the impeller, which I already did in another video. Um, you've already seen that. So let me get this cleaned out with a wire brush and rinsed off and all that. And we'll put this new lower housing uh, assembly in there, the seal. And uh, we did a pressure test on it. And uh, it was leaking from the top right here on the old one. So we'll put the new one in there. And then we'll pressure test it and it should be good to go. So let's get that cleaned up and we'll move on to the next section. Okay, we've uh, got it out, we've got it cleaned. We have replaced the damper seal, the damper seal ledge right there. Um, what we're gonna do is let's put this lower housing uh, seal back on here. And it's really simple. It's just going to, you can see I cleaned all that out in there. Uh, steel brush, uh, use a screwdriver to get all the corrosion off around the edges. So what we'll do is we're gonna drop this down into here like this. And it just goes right about like that. Push that baby down into there. Okay, get a good drip here. Just gonna use this to just make sure it's seated. And there you go. That's pretty much it. So now what we'll do from here. Make sure that's lined up. What we'll do from here, that's pressed into there. I can see the seal's tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the water pump. Uh, I did this in another video, just in case. Here's the, uh, see if I can get that on the camera there. Oh, there's the water pump kit I'm gonna do. I did this last time, you can watch that video. And you can see how you lowered the, your, uh, you can watch that video to see how you get to this point to do this. So, again, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh of Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, and I want to wish everybody a great day. Thank you.